tonight. He said he's ready for war. Ready for war. Strap on your boots. Make sure you got plenty of ammo to last the whole battle. Look for your target. Demons. Devour. 66 books full of power. Don't hesitate. Queens. Everybody. What's up, y'all? This is Danny Wilson coming from Atlanta. I want to welcome you to Holy Hip Hop Weekend 2007. This is a Gang Face exclusive, only right here. You can't get it nowhere else. Love you. What it is, ATL? This is your girl, Constance, a.k.a. Rocksteady, a.k.a. Bougie C, for Gang Face exclusives. We are here tonight at the 2007 UGA Holy Hip Hop Mixer. And um, we're going to holler at some people for y'all tonight. So y'all stay tuned, all right? I just want to talk to you tonight a little bit about Holy Hip Hop and what relevance you feel that it has on this generation. Well, Holy Hip Hop has that, that flavor, except we're hitting them with the gospel and we're leaving them with a positive message. No disrespect to the traditions of old, but this is a new generation and we need music that speaks to us in our language. And we can teach a generation that, you know what, we can talk about what the good things in life are, you know. It, it includes the blank, it includes good health. It includes money, prosperity, good health, and good living. I'm your boy, Young Praiser, representing in the Hip Hop, Holy Hip Hop Awards, representing y'all this Friday and Saturday. Man, if you ain't going to be there, man, you missed out. Man, holla at your boy. Check me out at www.youngpraiser.com. That's Y-O-U-N-G-P-R-A-Y-Z-R. And check out my MySpace at myspace.com slash young praiser what that's again y-o-u-n-g-p-r-a-y-z-r holla at your boy peace but i just you know come to them real and just be like look i've done this i've done that and that's pretty much what holy hip-hop is just you know it's yes we've sinned but you know just just come to Christ and he'll, he'll clean you up, basically. So that's the impact that I have. It's having a really big impact, bringing a lot of young people to Christ. They're not so defensive anymore when we speak to them, when they hear the message through Holy Hip Hop. But they're actually able to receive that message, even if it kind of sneaks up on them a little bit because they listen to the beat, you know, they listen to the rhythm and they get a little caught up in it. But then the message hits home. I feel currently influences by giving the youth and everybody else an alternative. Um, something else to listen to besides all the negativity that's on the radio today. A lot of hip-hop artists right now is drawn to that kind of music because they're seeing the impact. Right now, gangster rap is going out, you know, um, commercial rap is getting on, people getting tired of rap. So now holy hip-hop coming in is, is something new, so they're definitely embracing in that. You know? When it comes to holy hip-hop, the, the, the ability to be able to express yourself through your culture uh, you know, especially your love for God, especially uh, your wantingness to be able to build a uh, intimate relationship with God uh, through the means that, you know, you feel comfortable doing. I mean, man, that's, that's probably the biggest impact. It's a movement of God, first of all, and I believe that the importation of holy hip-hop could actually change your lives in the youth generation instead of us being known as the generation to uh, die out, we could be the next generation to raise up the nation in a major way through holy hip hop music. Holy hip hop is an alternative to this music so that you can get something good, you can get something not just spiritual, not just godly, but moral. You know, that, that'll, that'll build you up spiritually and, and keep you accountable for what you do and your actions. Well, holy hip hop is uh, ministering to youths who are in crisis, they're seeing a difference because of the way that the presentation of holy hip-hop is, is being put out there. I think it has food generation today greatly. I mean, I see actually a lot of actually young kids and everything, especially in the church, that's really gravitated towards, towards holy hip-hop. I mean, more of them coming to the knowledge that it is an alternative, and it really is just giving them the energy and power to realize that they can just enjoy hip-hop with the Christian-based lyrics and actually use that as a blast as a tool in their schools to tell their friends also. So the movement's really taking off on a whole other level. Holy Hip Hop has definitely done a lot of growing of itself. You know, a lot, of, a lot more people are, are taking discipleship seriously. You know, not just coming into a relationship with Christ and automatically grabbing the mic and taking some time to, to sit at the master's feet and learn to be what it, means to be a disciple of Christ and uh, it's being evidently made known through 
uh, the artist's lyrics and, and just their, their character. And I, and I think that it's really um, setting an example for the younger generation coming up. Say, follow our example as, follow me as I follow Christ. Uh, Christian hip hop, holy hip hop, gospel hip hop, whatever you uh, may call it, is definitely influenced and affected a lot of people. It's brought a lot of people into a relationship with Christ. Uh, people that have had a relationship with Christ, it's helped edify them, it's helped them grow. Uh, some of the music that even has a heavier content, I mean, it's helped disciple people and uh, lift them up. And uh, it's just been great. I hear reports all the time of people that have just been blessed by Christian hip hop and, and blessed by, you know, the music and the testimony and the content of it. So it's definitely, it's affecting a lot of people. Not only the aspect of the music, but it's, it's going from the music to the clothing. I mean, we just, we're covering every aspect now because in the world, you got people that, you know, you got people that's rocking, you know, they got their own gear. You know, each artist got their own gear out. Now you got holy hip hop artists that got their own gear out. So it's music, it's definitely ministry first and it's clothing. It's, it's just covering everything now. We're hitting them in every area, you know, every area. Holy hip hop is really an untapped uh, ministry and art form. Um, that they use music really as a tool to reach people who who are in the hip-hop culture or who will listen to rap music who really wouldn't step foot into a church or wouldn't even listen to a preacher preach on TV or on the radio. But the, the, through the music, they could reach the masses. And uh, hip-hop being the number one selling music, you know, in worldwide for years now, um, it's an awesome tool. And that's really all music is, is a tool. We need to to be disciples of Christ and show who we are and Christ living in us by the way we live, not just the music. So we need to back up the music with, with the way we live. So I think we've got a long way to come, but we're going in the right direction, and holy hip-hop is leading that direction. I love all genres of music, but uh, we're, we are missing, we're lacking uh, the leadership to Jesus Christ. And I feel that we have Jay-Z's, we have the Nas's, we have the, 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 the Puff Daddies, but what we don't have is people who are young and vibrant and who are sold out to Jesus Christ. I think it's very important. Not only can they still be themselves, they still can have their own identity, but now they can do it within Christ. See, before, they were just running the streets and just being defiled and being evil and being just demon-like. But now they can still lean with it, they can rock with it, they can walk it out, but they can walk it out to a different beat. They can walk it out to the kingdom music. They can walk it out to God. So holy hip-hop has given us another avenue to say, hey, we still could be fresh, we still could dress fly, but we still could just do it for God. And that's what Holy Hip Hop really is doing right now. It's bringing kids from 10 years old all the way to 30 years old. So right now, it's for everybody, man. And I just appreciate the fact that Holy Hip Hop is here despite the naysayers. When Jesus makes something clean, we can't call it unclean. And Holy Hip Hop is clean, man. Divine Power Priest. Basically, beginning with the spirituality, realizing that it's cool to have a connection with Jesus Christ. I mean, it's cool right now. I think a lot of us have, uh, as we were maturing in the Lord, kind of like lost focus and realized that we, you know, we don't have to be somebody else. We could be ourselves. So that's one, thing, that's one way we have influenced the youth of today. Another one, number two, is the music. The music that we have produced, it's, it's more of today's sound and music. In the beginning, it didn't sound like today's music, and we lost a lot of the kids because of the beats. But now the music has come full fruition to, to meet the standard of what today's happening. And lastly, the lifestyle. It's a cool lifestyle to be a follower of Christ. Christ was cool. You know what I mean? How many people you know that can heal somebody that with mud? You know, how many people you know that can change water into wine? How many people that you can know that can raise somebody from the dead? So all those things are cool to me. So that's how Holy Hip Hop has influenced uh, our youth of today. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Constance, a.k.a. Rocksteady. This has been another edition of Game Face Exclusives here at the 2007 UGA Holy Hip Hop Mixer. So without further ado, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed new year and a wonderful, prosperous life. Yeah. We're going